This video gives you a compact overview of the latest Flutter and Dart package releases. From February 22 to 28 we had around 133 new releases. Of these I introduce you to the 10 most popular packages in terms of likes. Among those packages we get a simple navigation and routing system as alternative to Navigator 2.0, a beautiful icon library for any use case, drag and drop for Flutter web, and seven more useful packages that made it into the top 10 of the week. Welcome to SyntechOps, my name is Jay and if you are a Flutter developer and want to get notified about the latest Flutter and Dart package releases, make sure to subscribe to this channel and now let's get started with the top releases of the week. The first package of the week helps you to easily create native animated splash screens. This package is called Animated Native Splash and allows you to use a JSON file of your animated object. Add the package to the dev dependencies, provide the path to your JSON file and then by running this command in the terminal you generate your native splash screens. The next package is about data visualization. If you need highly customizable charts for your Flutter app then definitely check out the package Charts Painter. A highly customizable chart library where you can customize the foreground, background and the item painters. This does require some custom painter knowledge, but you can also just integrate the pre-built charts that come right out of the box. Do you want to create responsive apps using units of measurement familiar from the web and CSS? Then have a look at the package Dimension introducing a dimension class. This package mimics the CSS length unit and supports four units including pixel percentage, view width and view height. Another solution for displaying countries, states and city data is out. The package CSC Picker helps to display a list of countries, states and cities which are filtered depending on the previous selection. So if you're selected India, then only Indian cities will be displayed, but you can also search all around the world. Need a quick and uncomplicated way to colorize your app? Then check out Material Color Generator to generate a material color palette with a hex color. Just use the Generate Material Color function within your theme data object and select your desired base color by providing it as a hex color. As developers we always strive to simplify and to reduce complexity. But it's not only on the basis of code that things can be simplified, but also when it comes to pure data that we present to the users of our app. We can make our lives and the lives of end users a lot easier by offering a human friendly representation of values. Exactly that can be done with the following package called Humanizer. This package helps you to convert values into human-friendly representations and aims to make such conversions easy and flexible. Let's have a look at the features. You can transform programming symbol names, you can use string casing, string truncation, you can convert daytime into approximate relative time, plurality, ordinal and cardinal numbers and units of measurement. On week 6 we had an infinite list package for building features like an activity or newsfeed and if you want to catch up with the video it's linked in the info card at the top right corner. This week we get another package of this kind which offers carousels for Flutter. The package Infinite Carousel brings an infinite carousel widget that supports infinite looping and gives precise control over selected item anchor and carousel scroll velocity. Features are control over the placement of selected items on viewport, unlike page view which always has its page in the center of the viewport, you have control over velocity and scrolling, you can add a friction effect to slow down the carousel after scrolling and both horizontal and vertical view are supported. Flutter Web is now on stable and therefore it is not surprising that now more and more packages appear that gives us new functionalities for Flutter Web. One of those packages is called Drop Zone, which offers a simple way to bring drag and drop to Flutter Web. Drop Zone is commonly used for file choosing by dragging and dropping a file onto a designated widget and the user can then use the dropped HTML files. 
simply add your necessary imports and wrap your desired widgets with the drop zone widgets. You can also make use of some methods like on drag enter, on drag exit and on drop. A cool new icon library made it to the second most liked package of the week. With Flutter Phosphor icons you get a flexible icon family for interfaces, diagrams, presentations and much more. To explore all icons go to phosphoricons.com, there you can download all 4000 icons and they even have a Figma plugin if you want to integrate them into your prototype. And on top of that Phosphor is free and open source. If you use those icons make sure to show some appreciation by a donation, the donation accounts will be linked in the video description. Navigation still seems to be a hot topic. With the introduction of Navigator 2.0, many weak points of the predecessor have been fixed, but people are not really satisfied with it yet. A new package tries to address this problem. With 29 likes, the package Yeet made it to the number one of the week, which promises a dank way to navigate without any boilerplate, code generation or the need of classes. The implementation seems to be very simple. First you have to define your so-called yeets. You could do this within the build method of your MyApp widget for example. Every yeet instance takes a string path, a builder of type widget builder, which is just a function that accepts a map and returns a widget. And this one is responsible for processing parameters like the specific ID of a user or a post. Yeats also do have a children attribute to create your first level directories or subdirectories. The next step is to turn your material app into a material app.router. Here you pass in a yeet information parser object and a yeeter delegate with the yeet object holding all of your routes. Now you can use the build context to access your yeets for navigation. You can either provide a path or leave it empty to pop the current route. Those were the top 10 of the week. If you like this video and want to support my channel, then hit the like button and to see more content like this, make sure to subscribe to this channel. As always, thank you very much for your attention. Have a great week and see you soon.